All right, all right, all right, guys. It is time for yet another episode of the Thorencio Files. Up here in the top left in the red, representing whores everywhere. It's sons. We're all God's children under the sun, right? The whores included. Nothing wrong with that. Down here in the bottom right, in the blue, it is Dixterminator, a.k.a. Florencio. <clears throat> or the moon, indeed. Night or day. Ah. Uh... What is my favorite bacon based meal? Someone says that didn't sound like bacon. No, it, it does. You got to pull it out. If, you, if you've been storing it in the, fr in the fridge or the freezer, you leave it on the counter long enough for it to get moist and to get some beads of perspiration on it and then slap it on the kitchen counter. Trust me, that is exactly the sound it makes, Lukax. 100%. Of course, bacon makes a lot of different noises. For instance, when you're harvesting bacon. <laughs> Is the music intentionally scuffed? What does that mean? I don't even know what scuffed means. Um, you guys are saying dark? <laughs> you think reality is dark? What? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. We would we would never do that. I actually had some really good um. I had some really good beef bacon the other day, funnily enough. It's on a, a burger I got, and I was like, this bacon tastes interesting. And I was like, oh, it's beef bacon. It's kind of nice. Oh, 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 the probe here, the probe here. Let's go, let's go. Um. Yeah, scuff just means messed up. You're hearing distorted music right now? I think it's just your sound. Uh, you know what? As long as Sun saves the bar- Saves the- Get the fuck out. Lift it, lift it, lift it. Run! Run, you can't lose the barracks! Oh! No, 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 you can't keep just building marines like that, mate. Lift it and run. Get out, get out. Pull it back, mate. Pull it back. Oh. You know what? He might even save the depot, which would actually be huge. Oh, no, you gotta repair it. You gotta repair it before that pylon finishes! Okay! Well, you gotta- it's still burning. Oh my god, are you serious? What the hell? Who's running this institution? Okay, one drilly boy does go back to finish the work. Now, Zealot's gonna get on the high ground though. That will spot. These Reapers have gotta be careful. There's a Zealot about to come out. Oh no, 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 no! The Zealot's like, hey, you think you're killing a cannon? Oh, good pullback. Very good pullback. Yeah, look at that. The Zealot provides high ground vision. Goodbye, Depot. Stuck here. There is a quick second barracks and a command center on the way, so as long as Suns builds a Depot, as long as Suns starts a Depot to replace the one that just died, as long as Suns starts a Depot, we'll be just fine. Just got to build a Depot. Okay, there we go. Hey, actually not too late on that. Now, let me, now we find out if Suns knows how to hold position. I think that's on hold position. We'll find out when the next unit comes up. Building stalkers, batteries, reinforcing this position. He's gonna build a Stargate on the front. Oh, he is committing. And he's already got that corner base up. Up to 22 probes at home. And you know what? This is looking like a pretty good contain. There is concussive out. I actually think more Marines, more stim is way more important here. Uh-oh, you're gonna take a shot for that. That Marauder takes two hits. A bit too greedy there. Sun's taking damage. This is just shields. Something flow will easily regenerate. eBay on the way, not bad, <clears throat> but uh, also not great because you got to bust this position. There's more cannons and batteries further back. Uh oh, and I think we might be seeing a fleet bacon as well. Fleet bacon, the biggest kind of bacon. Oh, that stalker actually gets pushed back. Nicely done. Does once again though. Remember that's only energy for now, whereas these hit points are permanent until medevacs are out. Oh, he's going to try to click on the battery, but this is a risky maneuver. The cannons are going to kill a lot, man. Oh, sons. Oh. Oh, showing a complete lack of discipline and inability to waistband trick it here. Oh, it does get one stalker finally, but I mean, the zealots and stalkers, just so many bio units going down and 
Yeah, Suns, I think, taking way more damage. It still hasn't made an orbital, is over microing here and losing so many units. And, and if you get rid of this, it might be worth it, but another cannon falls, that cannon's still good in that battery. Super important that that battery is there. I think Suns has really got to tuck it right now. Just tuck it into the waistband, take a deep breath, and, and keep macro and keep building more Marines and Marauders. Finally, realizing there's no defense at home, these Reapers could go do big damage. Suns is going to counterattack. Still no orbital, still hasn't cleared the second gas. Oh, he's building Hellions and just killing up tons of Marauders. Needs more barracks, but it's just over microing on the front. There's cannon. That should go down. Lots of Marines falling, though. The Marines are very vulnerable, and that's where a lot of the damage lies. But if he can get rid of this Stargate before the Chad's out, that could be huge. Oh, but there's still another battery and cannon to fall back on. So I I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do this. That Chad is almost out, and now there's almost nothing that shoots up. A turret is going up on the high ground, but he'll still be pinned in on one base if that's the case. He needs to get rid of that pylon and that battery. But the Chad's here. Chadicus Maximus says, get away from my batteries, boy. Takes out one Marine. It's going to start clicking on a Marauder. One Marine, one Marauder. Has to pull back from the missile turret, though. Flow stabilizers with an expansion. His own base. It looks like he surrounded the Reapers. The Reapers killed five probes. So he did force Flow to pull off gas for a little while there. Fight those Reapers. We didn't catch it on, on scene. Sorry for that. Bad observing. Turns out the multitasking is too much in this game. Uh, I mean, turrets sound nice, but I think Marines are a little more important right now, sons. And Barracks hasn't dropped a mule in like three minutes. Oh my god. This is this is like, I get so frustrated when I see Terrans do this, because this just reminds me of my own game so much. Where I'm like, there's so many basic things that if you just did them, you'd be fine. But it's like, we panic so much in these cheesy scenarios. And we just like, don't build depots, don't build marines, don't build barracks, don't drop mules. I'm like, all, all you need to do is just actually drop your mules. Oh my god, this chat is ruining. He's ruining Sun's day. Sun's, by the way, dropped one mule, still has a full energy command center. And he's just, he just, oh, he doesn't know what to do, man. Oh, the turret! The turret! Oh, he doesn't target it. He targets the mule. The turret finishes. Oh no, Chatticus! No! Chatticus goes down. All right, he, he does fall. And you know what? It looks like with such a Marauder count, he might be able to get down here. Three cannons and a battery, though. He's going to stim forward. He goes for the pylon. Ooh, Flo tries to heal it, but not good enough. You got to click on that pylon, and he does stop the other Void Ray getting out. Right now, there is only one Stalker on the map for Flo. He drops two more mules. You've still got enough energy to drop three more. Why? <laughs> what are you doing? He still hasn't continued building his third command center. This one stalker just picked off a mule, an SCV. The Marauder's finally going to deal with it. But remember, there's no medevacs. There's no healing here. Flo is trying to get three Stargates in the corner. And he's building cannons at home, realizing a cannon and a battery that I guess he's... he's... Let's see. All If Suns just macros from here and transfers SCVs, he'll be fine. But remember, guys, what have we learned about Suns? Inability to waistband trick. Wait, he dropped mules! He realized! Oh my god, he's transferring SC... He's waistbanded it. <gasps> he finished the command center. He's dropping mules. He's selling the bunker. He's transferring SCVs. Oh my god. Suns is way ahead. If Suns can just, you know, make upgrades, build some more barracks, combat shields. Oh my god. There's going to be a landed Viking harass. That can land just out of range of the cannon. Oh, very nice. There's no units at home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have enough money for three carriers saved up? Pull back! He doesn't know how to hold position, guys. I don't think. Oh! <laughs> Revenge of the probes! <laughs> First they killed the two Reapers. Now they kill the landed Viking. It's still great damage. But that is three carriers behind it. Oh my god, he's finally adding more barracks. Thank god. Suns is figuring it out. He's dropping a scan. He's like, wait, you don't have an expansion. Now let's see if alarm bells ring. He's building turrets everywhere, which I'm super confused by. It's not really building marines or depots. right? Oh no, he's... Yeah, he's, he's scouting at least. I mean, he's overthinking it a little bit because he's missing all of his basics, but four depots go down. The SCV's going to scout. I think... I honestly don't know how Flo's going to win this game. He's starting a fourth carrier, but... Marines do kick the shit out of carriers. It's just... Uh, I think with the turrets, I don't know if he has a window. If he hits this command center and Suns goes into the open away from the turrets, that's his best chance. There's only eight Marines and a Viking right now. 
if they fight with the turrets and with stim from behind the turrets, he can just kill the interceptors. But right now, he doesn't have reactors. His barracks are floating around. He's doing fancy add-on swaps. He doesn't have his production ready. But look at that, the turret. <clears throat> turret with marines behind it. Gonna do just fine. It's this expansion that's dangerous, though. Only one turret there. I think he's got to pull back from that base. Worst thing he could do is pull into the open. If he can just get up 20 or 30 marines, he's got this. But Flo here rotates around with the carriers. Picks off the turret. Sons, you got to pull back from this base, mate. Marauders don't shoot up. Oh, he's going to counterattack. That's a good choice. That's actually a really good choice. But I really think he should have lifted this command center. He's losing a lot of SCVs. There is one carrier here. Sees this incoming army. Shit's about to hit the fan. Oh, the Marines are rallied out the front. They need to stay up on the high ground. Okay, the Marines and the Marauders going to come in. He's going to click on the fleet bacon. Your bacon is mine, bitch. And he takes that one out. I think he should get out of here. With the recall, he forced the carriers away. Kept his command center alive and healthy. Good pullback. Look at this maneuvering. Sun says, okay, I just need to buy time. Nine Marines plus one attack on the way. Oh, he's got to boost those medevacs. Those medevacs should not be dying here. They're so important to keep these units alive on the map, but they do barely outrun the carriers. And he's going to rotate around the map. This is wonderful play by Sons. Unfortunately, he does have two SCVs in depot prison. This one does have a can of gas, and it looks like he's been sniffing it because he is having a seizure. Guys, I warned you, if you've got epilepsy, do not snort the Vespine gas. It's a bad idea. Do you want to end up like this? It's bad. Trust me, it's not a good experience. That is the very definition of a bad trip. The bio is going to go back in, looking to take advantage. Recall is nowhere near ready for the cooldown, and he's got very little defense up here. Two chads are going to come out. That's a lot of Marines. Uh-oh! I think Flo's in trouble, guys! Oh, he's trying to get to the high ground over here. The Marines, they're trying to... Oh, they're trying to click on the carrier. That's not how you fight carriers with Marines. You're meant to kill the interceptors. So, Sun's there, throws the entire Marine army he spent all this time building away, uh, trying to run forwards while the carriers run away. Uh-oh, that's kind of a mistake. Oh, can he get the chads? Oh my god, this micro from Flo, but he flies into the turret, loses one of them, the other one does survive. Uh, did he get those other two carriers out? It looks like they did go down. That base is going to fall. Flo's only got one base left. Now, the marines are rallying across the map. Suns should just rally and fight with these turrets. If he can get a stack of marines and a ball, he'll beat the interceptors, and Flo's going to struggle to reproduce them. But Suns is like, nah, base trade. And I don't know if that's the best idea. I mean, he's got seven medevacs and 37 marines. It should be enough. Even if he just decides to come home and defend. These marines keep stimming and clicking on the carriers, but you're never going to even get through the shields. You've got to be rallying over here, buddy. Oh, no. These Vikings are just going to pop and die instantly. Ah, uh, Suns taking all the damage. He's not going to get any SCVs out. Do Flo have a probe on the map? He doesn't, but Recall's almost ready. I mean, this all comes down to will Suns, like, lose all of his marines to the cannons and stuff? And, and will there just be enough to hang on Flo? He knows this is a base trade. He knows it's all in. He knows he's just got to hold on. If he can hold the high ground of the ramp, that would be brilliant. He's got a recall soon, though. Four carriers, one void ray. He's got three stargates up. They're not going to get a chance to build anything. This is it. Suns, one chance to finish this game and cleanse the world of this dirty sewer mermaid. He goes in that cannon, actually does a good amount of damage. He runs on top. Oh, he's going to click one carrier, disappears. Oh, and now he's just fighting the interceptors, but he keeps changing his mind. Oh, no, no, you got to stand and fight. you got to kill the interceptors, buddy. Oh, no, Suns, you lost all your SCVs. You can't just run away. You had to just stand and win. Ah. <laughs> no. I mean, I guess you got double orbital, but... No, you got to drop a mule. Drop a mule and repair. <laughs> oh. Well, the hopes and dreams just burnt down there, I think. One orbital ain't going to cut it. Oh, no. I mean, there's still a chance. There's still a chance, but... I mean, Flo can't mine either. Don't doom drop into the fucking carriers, you psychopath. Oh, he's running probes out. Flo's preparing for the base trade. He has enough money for... Oh, he cancelled the three buildings because he's supply blocked the three units. He does have enough money to rebuild the Nexus. But it's going to go down instantly. Oh, this is going to go full base trade. All right. Doesn't lose too many units. He's oh, he lost five more marines here, guys. Every marine is sacred, remember. He's got another Viking. He's got to get that out. He's going to need every unit in the battle. And that 
command center is not really hidden right now. Oh, if he'd landed it and, and or floated some buildings off away, this would be such a better position. Sun still has one Marine in the medevac as well. So this is just 13 Marines out of the medevacs. He's got to make sure he loses no more of them. The Vikings try to shoot the interceptors, which is not a bad, not, not a good idea. And he's uh, going to lose all of his production. No more buildings for either side. Just uh, a Nexus building? Oh, he's going to take his main base. I didn't realize he brought a probe in here. Okay. Sons does have a Viking over here. If he brings two Vikings and you got, what, 14 Marines with seven Matavax healing them? Stim shields plus one. I'm pretty sure if you just go forward with a Marauder, have the rest of the units behind, and you purposely make sure you're engaging at maximum range, so you're just trying to engage the interceptors, Flo can't rebuild many of those interceptors. He's got enough money for a little bit of refilling. You should be able to kill most of the interceptors before they even start landing hits on the Vikings and the Marines. The question is, does Suns have any idea how to do that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess no. Oh, there's a probe here. We're gonna find it. We're gonna land on it. We're gonna land on it. He's like, boy, dickhead. Didn't try to float any buildings away, unfortunately. Oh, this is going to be an interesting game. That Viking is going to land it. No! All right. So Flo now begins mining with one probe. If he builds one more pylon, he's on supply blocked as well. All right. I really want to see Sons kite, like I said, and use a Marauder to bait out the interceptors before the fight really starts. But what I think we're going to see is Suns stim forward and just click on the carriers. What are you doing? Don't do that. Why? What are these Vikings? Base is, under is he going to drop on the carriers? Is that his plan? Please tell me. No. Don't do it. What is this? Okay, so the Vikings land and they're going to fly away. So he's trying. Oh, he's trying to bait him away and then kill the last building. But now he realizes there's a probe on the map, so these aren't the last buildings. So he goes home to defend it and to try to kill this probe. I'm not sure about that one, buddy. <laughs> so the problem as well is even if you drop mules, because you don't have an SCV, you can't build depots. So you can never un you can never actually build more SCVs up. Until you until you lose thirty army supply, right? It's uh, it's insane. I don't know why he built a pylon down there. Florencia is Florencia though. Okay, this game's this game's gonna go for a little while longer, I guess. He scans and he's like, "Shit, you have one probe." Okay, we got to do this. Oh my god. I can, I can, I can feel the, the brain cells firing right here. I could feel them, right? Sons is like, it's like we're watching, we're watching a Terran player to start, try to start a fire with two little pieces of flint right now. It's exactly what he's doing. He's like, hmm. He's trying to get a spot. He's like, how do I solve this problem? And nothing, he's not even got flint. Let's be real. He's got the stick. He's doing the stick and the dry grass method. He's doing those ones. Okay, good spotting medevac. Maybe you can catch the chat on its own. That's a huge pickup. I still think 14 marines, like, if you send the marauders in separately, especially, like, you, you still have a chance. And, you know, he could still win the base trade, guys. If he just goes for the buildings with that many marauders. If you get the carriers even slightly out of position, it could be big. I like that he's kind of floating the command center up here so the void ray can't get it. He wants to scan. He wants to land it so he can scan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got chat saying, no, 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 he does have flint, but he's trying to do these ones on the flint. He's got like a single piece of flint in his hands and he's just doing this. He's like, why isn't it working? I'm like, that's not how it works. It's up to four probes, guys. I think Suns realizes he's got to go. Let's see how he takes this fight. This is going to be, okay, Marauder's in front. I think the Marines need to run back though. He's going to click on the carriers. Is it enough? I don't think so. Oh, he gets one. One carrier down, but look at that. Yeah, it's, it's, the probes even pull into fight. There's only seven Marines left. I don't think that's enough. Oh, I mean, just as long as they pull the carriers back, 
Marines just can't get on top, but actually, you could win the base trade. Oh my god. Click the Nexus, click the pylon, is that it? That's a Chad, there's no probes down there. Take an assimilator, he didn't take an assimilator. Oh, he could have built an assimilator, even then he would have lost though. Oh my god, Suns wins. He actually wins. Oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful artistic rendition there of what PVT should be should look like. Thank you, Florencio, for that lovely display. You're an absolute monster and a disgusting human, while also being a delicious sewer mermaid. I don't know, everything's at odds. Um, shout out to Florencio, you're making me feel all dirty just watching these games. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I really thought Flo was actually going to win there. Especially after those Vikings sacrificed themselves. But it turns out that many Marauders when you've got plus zero carriers, kind of hard to kill. Especially with Metapax healing them. GG well played Flo. He, uh, he he almost takes it out. But hats off to Suns for bringing it back after getting just dicked around all over the game. Thank you guys for supporting Patreon. Link is below in the description if you want to go above and beyond to support there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.